elegance, sophistication, along with a feeling of luxury and refinement. The Seiko Sarbo 65 Cocktail Time takes full advantage of its 40 millimeter size by showcasing one of the most gorgeous dials ever designed. But why let the spectacle stop there? If you're gonna have a watch this stunning on your wrist, you may as well get a decent strap to match. It's 4.02 p.m. Let's get down to business. What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Now, if there's one thing I get asked about all the time, it's about strap recommendations for the Seiko Sarbo 65 Cocktail Time, a truly, truly special watch. However, the strap this watch comes with, eh, it's not so special, okay? It comes on this black patent leather strap with a deployant clasp. And as you guys know, I am a big fan of deployant clasps, but I'm not a big fan of patent leather. So in this episode, I wanna take a few minutes and share with you the three straps options that I keep in rotation for my Seiko Sarbo 65 cocktail time. I absolutely love them. Maybe, just maybe in this episode, you'll see something you like. If you're interested at all in any of the straps I talk about today, I'm going to be leaving links in my description below so you can pick them up for yourself. But uh, yeah, the Seiko Sarbo 65 cocktail time has 20 millimeter lugs. So there are tons and tons of different options for you to choose from. And uh, yeah, without further ado, it's time for a little fashion show. All right, guys, so I'm currently wearing my G-Shock GX56 BB probably my favorite G-Shock in my collection. If you recall, I recently picked this one up and I made kind of a short introduction video um, of this watch and another G-Shock that I had recently purchased. Um, and I kind of mentioned all of my G-Shocks in one video, but I haven't really done a dedicated review of this watch. Let me know, leave me a comment. Would you like to learn more about how I feel about this awesome GX56 BB? I can tell you right now, it is, uh, it's my favorite. <laughs> it is my favorite. It is such a cool, cool G-Shock. Um, I think everybody should have this one. I'll leave links in the description below uh, leading you to this watch because, um, yeah, it is just that cool. But you don't care about G-Shocks because we're talking about straps. We're talking about straps for the Seiko Sarbo 6.5 Cocktail Time. Such a beautiful piece. This is a stunner. Okay, guys, so as you can see here, it's on a blue braided Perlon strap. Now, Perlons are just very, very elegant straps. Uh, a single piece strap, as you can see. So it does cover up that display case back, but I mean, when you're wearing the watch, you can't see it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, now this blue color, just gorgeous. It plays really well with the dial. It kind of brings out the cool iciness of the Sarbo 6.5, and it, and it is pretty much matches perfectly with that blue second hand. It's almost the same color, so. Really, it looks like it was just meant to be. Another really awesome thing about these Perlon straps is that they're lightweight, they're very breathable, super comfortable. You know, here in SoCal, um, it gets very hot during the spring and summer months. Heck, it gets hot in winter sometimes. So having something stylish and comfortable, lightweight and breathable, uh, it's useful around these parts. So, you know, what is style without comfort anyway? You need both, guys. You need both, especially in SoCal. So, uh, you know, you could wear this with formal attire. It looks very nice shooting outside your cuff. Um, it looks very fancy schmancy, but also um, it's kind of casual enough to wear every day. So this is just a great, great option for your cocktail time. Let's throw this on the wrist and uh, yeah, let's see how it looks. Alrighty guys, what do you think? I think this blue pearl on looks amazing. You know, it is eye catching, but it's still quite elegant. And uh, if you were looking for a fun, different option for your watch, I say go Perlon strap. You can't lose with a Perlon strap. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. All right, so here's the cocktail time sporting an ostrich leather strap from Hadley Roma. Now, many of you should be kind of familiar with this look because I've made numerous videos with this watch wearing this strap. You know, ostrich leather, it feels luxurious, it looks luxurious, it's kind of exotic. You just feel special wearing ostrich leather. I don't know what else to say. And you know, I've said it multiple times. Uh, I've always wanted an ostrich leather strap. I just didn't know what watch I'd put ostrich leather on. On until I got a cocktail time. Then I was like, boom, it'll be perfect. And then lo and behold, it is perfect. Uh, let's put it on the wrist and I'll tell you what I think. All right, what do you think guys? 
This is kind of my go-to strap for this watch. You know, I can wear it in a formal setting. I can wear it day to day. It's not too crazy. And you know, Hadley Roma did a very good job with this ostrich leather strap because there is some padding, but it's not overly padded. It's not overly stiff. It's actually quite soft and malleable because you know, that's the problem with a lot of Seiko's factory straps that come with the watch. Uh, they're too stiff, too heavily padded. They're not comfortable to wear. They're too difficult to break in. Um, this one, I broke it in in maybe a week and it was, you know, very, very supple, very soft and it looks great. I don't know why it complements the watch so well but it does and I'm just, I don't know, I'm enamored by this, this combination. I think it looks amazing. Let me know what you think. Okay, so here's the cocktail time on a Milanese mesh bracelet. Now I took a sneak peek shot of this on my Instagram and people went crazy asking me about it. Okay, something about these mesh Milanese bracelets just really bring out the vintage feel. You know, it maintains its elegance and again, you could wear this formally and it would be totally fine, um, but you can also wear it day to day. It's just a really, really fun option. You know, this watch isn't inherently sporty, so I haven't found that wearing it on metal like makes it sporty at all. It's still very, very elegant. Um, it's just a very fun way to wear this watch. Uh, I think the metal really plays well with the dial. Again, it brings out that kind of iciness and yeah, again, it is very, very eye-catching, but it's not too flashy. It's not off-putting, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I'd love to know what you think. Let's put it on the wrist. I just, I just want to wear this thing. All right, man, look at this. I thought the ostrich leather was going to be like impossible to beat until I put it on the Milanese bracelet. And I was like, whoa, whoa, hold up. This looks amazing. And it's different guys. It's it, like not a lot of people wear the cocktail time on the metal, but then once you put it on some metal, it looks like it was meant to be. It's crazy how that works. And it's totally got a vintage thing going on here. It's just incredibly appealing to me if you haven't figured it out by now. But yeah, this might be the way to go guys. What do you think? Um, but yeah, out of the three options I chose, which one was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? Leave me a comment. I wanna hear from you guys. Dang. This is just stunning here. Absolute stunner. This wins for me, I don't know, this wins for me. All right guys, there you have it. Some awesome strap options for a truly stunning watch. One of my favorites of all time, the Seiko Sarbo 65 Cocktail Time. Maybe this video inspired you to try something else with your cocktail time, but let me know. Uh, did you see anything you liked? Did you see anything you hated? Which one would you choose? Uh, if you liked any of the straps I spoke about today, again, I'm gonna be leaving links to them in my description below, so click those links and pick them up if you so choose. Also, if this is your first time joining us here on the Time Teller channel, I wanna say welcome and thank you, and I wanna urge you to consider clicking that subscribe button it takes one second and it helps me out a ton and while you're at it you can go ahead and click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the time teller there's just so much more awesome content on the way and you don't want to miss it i'm telling you guys please like comment and subscribe share this with other watch enthusiasts other people that you think would enjoy this i'm jory goodman the time teller and always remember i didn't invent time i just tell it